All right, Gorgie, can you hear us? All right, great. Um, all right, we'll go ahead and get started with questions. Uh, and if you do have a question, please remember to use the hand raise feature. Um, first question goes to uh, Megan Rice. So obviously with this being such unique uh, circumstances, you kind of throw out teams being heavily favored one way or the other just because this is such a unique uh, situation. Do you guys kind of as a team collectively feel, you know, this is an opportunity you guys can take advantage of and kind of why not us? Yeah, I think uh, we had a shot, you know. Uh, we try and be prepared mentally and physically to go through this. I think we just uh, try and take it one game at a time. Devin Walker. Can you hear me? Yes. Okay. You're a big bike rider, uh, and you like to uh, – we've seen a lot of guys kind of fish while they've been in the bubble. Have you been able to ride your bike, and what have you been doing on your, on your, during your down, downtime in the bubble? Uh, I mean, uh, I'm just staying in my room, talk to my family, uh, watch a movie, take care of my body most of the time. Uh, when I come back from practice, I just go get massage, ice, and, and rest. Mike Sadie. After spending so much time away from basketball while, while, we, while you guys sat away, how hard has it been ramping this thing back up to five on five? I know you guys had a lot of individual work in Memphis, but stamina wise, has that been something you guys have to work on? Because now you're trying to ramp up for the, the resuming a season? Uh, I think uh, it's, I'm, I'm surprised the way we're at right now. I think we are ahead as a team. Uh, I thought a lot of guys would be out of shape, but I think uh, we're looking good right now. I think we're running, get a lot up and down, playing five on five. And um, I think we're looking good, honestly, you know. We make it, the first day was kind of rough, but uh, after that, uh, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm very confident that what, the way we're playing right now. Drew Hill. Hey, Gordy, just curious, of all of the sort of differences between regular basketball and what you're doing down there in Orlando, what has been the biggest adjustment or maybe the weirdest thing that you've experienced so far? I think outside basketball is like uh, the test. You know, you have to get tests every day, screening, answering these questions. You know, it's it's different. I think we try. We all try to adjust. It's new to all of us, but I think that's that's for our interest. You know, we want to we want to be in a safe environment, and I think right now the bubble is safer than than America. You know, Evan Barnes. Corey, can you hear me? Yes. Uh, some of the guys have said that they were, are planning on wearing a, a, a statement on the back of their jerseys. Have you made a decision yet on, on what you plan to wear? And if so, uh, why, how did you come to that? I mean, uh, everybody uh, watching NBA, I think that's the clear platform that people can hear us. And playing in the game, I think you do your own uh, commercial. And I really encourage all my teammates to you know, share their thoughts with people. And me personally, I put Black Lives Matter in the back of my jersey. Megan Rice. Going back to kind of the five on five uh, competition between you guys, has anyone stuck out in particular, any player that, that's maybe elevated their game during, during this uh, hiatus? Honestly, I think everybody looking good in this team. You know, uh, conditioning, everybody are in a good shape. And uh, everybody looking good, you know. I mean, the only way you can be at your best when you play a five five, and we got a chance to be evaluated uh, to play those three preseason games. All right, Gorgie, thanks for joining us today. Thank you, guys.